Welcome to The Analyst, and it is Crypto Gaming Night. A couple of headlines to go over, but before we dive into it, let us take a look at the markets. Bitcoin is back up to around the sub $44,000 area. Solana has taken a significant pullback, currently trading at $105. We have ICP at around the $10 range. Radium is down, taking a massive correction all the way to $1.40 from as high as $1.80. Nothing I say here should be taken as financial advice, so please do your own research. But Radium, even at this price, is a good buying opportunity ahead of the Bitcoin ETF and also seeing how bullish the Solana ecosystem is looking onward into next year post Bitcoin having. Now, can Radium land at a much lower price? Most definitely, and I think so. Solanium, another project on Solana, but much low cap, also went down by a considerable amount, trading right now at around 30 cents to 35 cents. This market is generally stale overall. The gaming sector has taken a bit of a pullback for the month from triple digit gains to double digit gains with the exception of a few projects like Immutable X. And all we are seeing currently is just a rotation of money going into high end layer ones like Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, and even Binance Coin reaching as high as 12% within the past 24 hours. We have lower cap projects like Million Token trading at around $2. The general consensus of the market has shown me that we are still not done going higher in terms of the overall crypto market cap. We are currently around 1.7 trillion, and the next level of resistance is around 2 trillion, which would add about 300 billion waiting to get into this market. But that could also be a short-term blow up top. Also, analysts are still talking up the Bitcoin ETF, and commercials are getting ready to advertise these products. Now, while Kathy Woods, founder and CEO of ARK Invest, has been praising Bitcoin, her fund has actually been selling it. What I am about to read to you is a report from Whalewire, an account with over 500,000 followers that puts out crypto news. And next, we are going to hear what Kathy Woods has to say. This is what Whalewire had to say, quote, In the last two days, Kathy Woods has reduced her exposure to Bitcoin by 100%. And Barry Silbert, abruptly resigned from Grayscale without reason. Wall Street clearly knows that the Bitcoin ETFs will be denied or result in a sell the news event, which is why they are quietly exiting now. However, as always, crypto Twitter will fall victim to these schemes again by buying the top, end quote. And now I'll play what Kathy Woods had to say when questioned from Yahoo News about her spot Bitcoin ETF filing. So listen to this. Something did change within the last month to six weeks. Um, after being denied several times by the SEC without hearing from anyone at the SEC, uh, we we and others uh, we know uh, have gotten questions from the SEC, very thoughtful, detailed, technical questions. Uh, that's a very positive move. And it's not just one um, set of questions. It's follow-up questions. That is really good. Now, you ask if the SEC is data-driven. Uh, we have had the opportunity, as many others have, to meet uh, a number of the research people within the SEC focused on crypto assets or digital assets. And we have found them to be extremely thoughtful, extremely knowledgeable, and um, and uh, actually, a great source of comfort, uh, frankly, because we don't want uh, we don't want uh, an ETF, a, a spot Bitcoin ETF, um, to get the green light if there are any uncertainties that the SEC may have. So I think we're answering those uncertainties one by one. Each of the um, uh, filers for a spot Bitcoin ETF. And uh, I think the dialogues are are very positive. And I, I think the outlook is bright for a, Bitcoin, uh, a spot Bitcoin ETF. Uh, and we do think it will be in January. Uh, famous last words, don't want to say <laughs> we know anything uh, because we don't. Uh, but it's just the actions of the SEC that are leading us to that conclusion. And it seems a random guy who left a comment on the Kathy Woods video gets it by saying, listening to Kathy Woods, I read in between the lines that the Bitcoin ETF will be a buy the rumor and sell the news event. 
This basically means we are in for a potential price drop. Now, I am just here to present you guys with the news. However, how you go about using it is up to you. But let me know down in the comments what you plan to do as we have expressed many options on this channel. Now, I do want to focus on the crypto gaming sector and what's an awful month thus far of not seeing as much gains overall in this sector compared to prior months. On average, it has been about at most a double digit gain in most popular crypto gaming projects. The ones I have had on my watch list include Super, which is up 88% for the month. However, Neo Tokyo Bytes is down 15% for the month from its incredible run in November from $2 all the way to $14 right now. But if you guys are worried, these types of sector rotations are common in crypto. I still believe Neo Tokyo and Super are still worth holding in the long run with Ilio Trades and Alex Becker both having seats on their respective DAO, D-O-A. And from my understanding, pretty soon Bytes will be coming out with your own launch pad, so stay tuned for that. And the latest news on crypto gaming comes from Decrypt.com, which publishes crypto articles. They came out with your piece titled Game On, the hottest upcoming gaming token airdrops. Several of the gaming tokens they list include Portal, Xi, and Saga Protocol. If you're interested in reading more about these tokens, I'll have a link to the article in the description. As for me, I am holding on to my Super and Bytes tokens and several handful of other small cap projects, which I think will do pretty well. But let me know what gaming tokens you hold or want me to go over in future videos. And it could be anything from any ecosystem, whether it's Solana or ICP. And if you're interested in diving into these projects, make sure you follow Becker and Ilio Trades as a niche down in detail. And if you really want to get degen and dirty on research, a content creator you should follow is Crypto Millie, who touches on projects that are so small in micro cap that your potential could range from zero to as high as a thousand X. On this channel, I can only afford to go over the broader macro news and direction as it pertains to getting that alpha. If we skip over from Decrypt.com and go over to another crypto publication from Amp Crypto, your headline reads, Optimism. Can rising interest from the gaming sector help this second layer solution? In summary, this chain uses ZK rollups to batch transactions and Coinbase blockchain base uses this protocol of optimism as well. But whether it will lure the gaming industry really depends on the amount of bottleneck that Ethereum might suffer if it goes through this high congestion, which then equates to higher costs. My thoughts on this debate is that Ethereum is really late to the arena as Solana and Avalanche are becoming strong competitors in the crypto gaming sector by providing fast transactions and lower cost. And I also put out a video in the past on how a game development studio left Polygon Matic, a second layer solution on Ethereum. So not only did that game developer hate Ethereum, they did not want to bother doing anything on Polygon Matic, which shows you the sign of the times. But let me know what you guys think if optimism can help Ethereum break this spell to lure in game developers. And the last article I want to glance over comes again from Decrypt.com titled Crypto Gaming Predictions. Will 2024 be the breakout year? Well, my answer to your question is yes. And I think so for many reasons. One of them is how the crypto market overall is good at seeing narratives about a year from the peak bull run. But in this article, Decrypt says that crypto industry leaders remain optimistic about the future of blockchain gaming for the following reasons. The first reason being, are the games fun? And that reason speaks for itself. The second reason is seeing games continue to evolve. For example, if we take a look at the non-blockchain game Grand Theft Auto 6 and compare it to its earlier predecessor, it is like driving a Flintstones automobile to a Tesla car. And the third reason is games finding an audience despite platform restrictions. So imagine if one day a blockchain becomes more expensive than another newer one, similar to Ethereum is to Solana. Then can these games adapt to a more scalable solution? 
Regardless of these reasons, myself and Decrypt think that gaming will also play a major role in blockchain adoption and onboarding the masses in 2024. But let me know what you guys think if this is a good narrative going into 2024 or just a bunch of hot smoke. Now, as always, I do want to tie this broadcast into the whole thesis of this channel, which is on tokenized securities, as this sector is estimated to be a $5 trillion industry. And I definitely think gaming will play a part of that. What percentage? I do not know. But $5 trillion leaves a lot of room on the table. And then we have exchanges like INX, which could potentially house those securities if those projects decide to go into that direction. And we have ecosystems like Avalanche and Coinbase-based blockchain that allow for a cost-effective means of creating gaming nodes and managing transactions and onboarding users. And we cannot forget about JP Morgan's Onyx blockchain, which is technically private at this point, but I definitely see them having some type of public aspect to it in the future. I don't know how much of that blockchain will be private or public. It could be a percentage. I feel like they might want to hide some of your transactions for XYZ reasons. Anyway, the possibility the possibilities there are endless. And lastly, if these gaming applications really run seamlessly and 100% on the blockchain, then they can rely and tap into blockchain cloud computing infrastructures such as ICP, Internet Computer. The possibilities are endless. Before I go, if you're interested in setting up a tokenized security account with INX, my fur code is in the description as well as links to the articles I just went over. Have a great day.